Hey guys, it's Daniela, and remember three months ago, back when I posted my most recent video on this channel? Yes, I haven't posted on this channel in like three months, and um, I know I don't post very often on this channel, um, but some of you already know, actually most of you who are subscribed to this channel, because I don't have very many subscribers on this channel, most of you know that I that this is only my second channel. I have a main channel which I post every weekend on and sometimes during the week, sometimes two videos per weekend, but at least one video per weekend and I have way more subscribers on that channel than I do on this one. Um so yeah, anyways, um I'm today I'm going to be starting a new series on this channel. What the wowzers? I can't believe I'm starting a new series. So, yeah. So my new series on this channel is is going to be um is going to be called Break Time with Daniela. And Break Time with Daniela is basically just going to be me telling some different stories that I have. I have a lot of stories. And let me just explain one more thing. You're probably wondering, Daniela, why can't you just do this on your main channel? Well, it's because um I already have um I already have videos that I'm that that I wanted to upload for the past for, for the for the past for the few like for, for the next few weekends or so and um, I don't really want to like film a video and then not upload it until two months later or whatever because I feel like that's just going over the line of like pre-filming videos plus I don't really need to pre-film videos but I've already filmed these videos anyway because I really wanted to um and I'm and, and like I want to upload them so and I also really am kind of like I lately I've been in the mood for like making like story videos and whatnot so I just decided to do this series on my second channel so yeah and the reason why I'm calling this series break time with Daniela is because um, these videos are perfect for when you want to like take breaks and stuff and relax so yeah and you can just like watch break time with Daniela videos when you want to take a break from homework or whatever you're doing and just relax. This is the perfect type of video for that. So let's get started. Today's break time with Daniela video is going to be called, I almost got sent to the principal's office. And yes, I almost did get sent to the principal's office. I was this close to being sent to the principal's office, but out of literally luck, I didn't end up getting sent to the principal's office. So anyway, so grab your coffee or water or whatever you drink and your blankets and sit back and relax and listen to the story because it's, it's going to be interesting. Okay guys, so rewind back to my early elementary school years, back when I was like six years old. Um, so like, like around that time, we, what we used to do was, um, like in, in school and stuff, was we used to like, we had this this thing of like laminated sheets of paper taped together. Basically, there was a green paper, yellow paper, blue paper, red paper, and then a black paper. And then uh, basically it would be hung up and then you would have your magnets, aka just laminated note cards or whatever with your name on them and a piece of velcro on the back and so I already knew it wasn't a magnet but that's what we called them we called them our magnets basically what would happen was the um, the sheets of paper that were taped together would be hung up on the chalkboard and then you would have your magnet like next to your, your magnet next to like um, like next to one of the papers you wouldn't actually have them on the paper but it would be like on the chalkboard but next to the paper the green paper meant that like you didn't get any warning so you weren't doing anything wrong or anything and by default you would be at green and then um, if you got one warning you would have to move up to the yellow two warnings blue three warnings red and then and then on the fourth warning you would move up to black and you would have to get sent to the principal's office. So one day, um, I was just I, I was just casually just sitting in class, and we were just it was just a normal day. We were just like talking about like 
we were just talking about adding and subtracting and whatnot, and it was just a completely normal day, and I was just literally just in my seat, just like normal, and yeah. So it was just a completely normal day. I just casually just felt my ears to see if my earrings were still in because I've had my ears pierced since I was a baby. So I'm always like, so every once in a while I like to just feel up there and just check to see if my earrings didn't fall out or anything. So I just casually just felt up there. Something didn't feel right. And when I say something didn't feel right, I mean that my earring was gone. So I jumped out of my seat. I immediately started crying and freaking out and like because I was because I was missing my earring, it had fallen out apparently. And I just I was just like crying and stuff. Um and and I remember that this was I was six years old at this time, so if this if this kind of thing happened to me now, I would probably like freak out a little bit, but I wouldn't like start crying and stuff. And I made a huge scene in front of the whole class. I was, I got up out of my seat. I interrupted the teacher while she was teaching. I got up out of my seat, started crying and screaming. And well, I, I wasn't like screaming, but I was just crying. But I made a huge scene. Everybody noticed me, but I didn't even feel embarrassed about it. Cause I mean, I was only six years old. So like, I, I, I don't know. I wasn't like mature enough to, I, I, I didn't know how to handle the situation in a mature way, but um, like I got up out of my seat and um, then the teacher just stopped talking about addition or whatever we were learning. I'm pretty sure it was addition. And she moved my magnet to yellow without even taking her hands off. She moved it to blue and then red. And I was like, she could have moved it to black for all I knew. Like, I was still on my seat. She moved it down to green again. I was like, I, I seriously could have gotten sent to the principal's office. Like, I was, like, like, I was literally still out of my seat crying when she moved it back down to green. So I could, I just got really, really lucky that I didn't get sent to the principal's office and by the way, I have never gotten sent to the principal's office before, so I'm not like, I'm not like a really, I, I'm not like a really bad student or anything. Um, I, I've never gotten sent to the principal's office for what I can remember. Um, so I was seriously this close to having to go to the principal's office and possibly getting in trouble and possibly getting, possibly getting suspended for a short time. So, but I've never gotten suspended any, I, I, I've never gotten suspended before or sent to the principal's office. So, yeah, so the important one, the important part was I got back to my seat, um, happy that, that I didn't get sent to the principal's office. Literally, I, I was literally on red. Like, I, like, le, like the next one after that would have been black. I would have had to go straight to the principal's office and tell the principal that I lost my earring and started freaking out about it. So that is it for my first break time with Daniela video. Make sure to give this video a humongous thumbs up if you enjoyed hearing about how I almost got sent to the principal's office and leave me a comment down below about your feedback. Like, give me some feedback. Should I continue doing break time with Daniela? Like, do you absolutely love this series? Should I do it every single day? Or do you despise it? Should I stop doing it? Comment down below your feedback because I would really like to know how I could improve Break Time with Daniela. Should I continue it? Um, what, what, what do you love about it? What do you like about it? What do you not like about it? What do you hate about it? I would love to know your feedback. Anything you have for me, um, you can give me some constructive criticism or just tell me what you love about it. And yeah, um, I won't be doing shout outs on this channel, but I'll be doing shout outs on my main channel. So, um, so if you want a shout out for me, if you want to be a good candidate for a shout out in one of my videos, then just go subscribe to my main channel and then on, my, on every one of my videos I have a shout out question. 
and if you answer the shout out question you could possibly get a shout out in my next video but you never know if you'll get a shout out or not so um so just go on over to my main channel if you haven't already checked it out and comment your answer to my to the shout out question on my latest video and yeah so that's pretty much it guys and I will see you guys the subscribers and viewers in my next video peace out y'all Woo!